you're up early. I couldn't sleep. Mm. Is it because I made you be Little Spoon? It's not that, but you're sleeping on the couch from now on. Fine. Jeez, something's really eating you. What's up? You know you don't really want to hear about it. Sure I do. Really? Look, it's no secret that I wasn't exactly thrilled to hear you were moving in here. Justine and I have had our own thing for a really long time, and when the new best friend meets the old best friend, a certain level of jealousy is to be expected. But if the world is about to end, I should probably try and be more nice to people, even you. So what's up? Why did it take you so long to be able to see Rue? I don't know. I guess it just took her that long to trust me. Why was I able to see her so quickly? That might be a question you want to ask Rue. I don't think I can. You know, you think I don't see what's going on here, but I do. You know, my grandpa used to tell me this story all the time, and it really stuck with me for some reason. It kind of reminds me of you and Rue. So, a man and a woman were planning on going on a blind date. A few days before, the man went hunting in the woods and was attacked by a bear. His insides were shredded, and it was only a matter of time before he would bleed out. His screams were so loud that a witch who lived deep in the woods came out to see what had happened. She saw him wounded and bleeding and knew that she couldn't save him, but she offered to grant him one last wish. And he wished to not cross over until the day he met his one true love. So the witch cast her spell and the man died shortly after. A few days later, the woman from the date decided to go for a walk in the woods and got lost. It was dark and cold out and she knew if she didn't find shelter, she wouldn't survive the night. She cried out for help, and a few moments later, the man appeared and led her back to the witch's hut. They spent the whole night talking, and by the time morning came, she couldn't bear to leave because she'd fallen in love with him. She fell in love with a ghost overnight? When the man figured out that he had fallen in love with her, he vanished. See, the witch had held up her end. He met his one true love. He didn't wish to spend all of eternity with her. So, the witch explained herself to the woman, and she dried her eyes and was heartbroken. But she turned to the witch and said, My heart will go on. She left the hut and never looked back. Wow. Yeah. And that woman's name was Samine Dion. <laughs> You're an asshole. That story isn't even about Titanic. I know, but it got you to laugh, didn't it? You're the only one who's laughing. Is that story even true? Yes. The first part is. Look, the point is a lot can happen when you first meet someone, even falling in love. There is a definite connection between you and Rue, there's no denying that, but maybe instead of wasting all this time trying to figure out why, you should just enjoy each other. Stella found something. There's a reason I had to bring home the leftover cookies last night. Your grandma hid pages of the book inside the container. I looked them over and they're not the spells we need to stop this, but there is a spell that will bind Rue to the earth. 